morning. Happy Thursday. Um, here are the three things that we're going to work on today. The first thing on our list is poetry. So there's two poems in your packet of stuff um, for this week. And one is called Band-Aids. It looks like this. I'm going to read it to you because I think it's really cute. And it's written by Shel Silverstein. It goes like this. I have a Band-Aid on my finger, on my knee, and one on my nose. One on my heel and two on my shoulder, three on my elbow and nine on my toes. Two on my wrist and one on my ankle, one on my chin and one on my thigh, four on my belly and five on my bottom, one on my forehead and one on my eye, oh no. One on my neck and in case I might need them, I have a box full of 35 more, but oh, I do think it's sort of a pity I don't have a cut or a sore. Oh, so he's just putting the band-aids all over his body just because. Now this week we've been talking about OW and OU, so we want you to write that on your band-aid. Then go back, and it might be the easiest way to do this is maybe use tallies, but every time he talks about band-aids, we want you to add it up. So I have a band-aid on my finger, so that's one. One on my knee, so that's two, because he has one on his finger, one on his knee, one on my nose, so that's three, one on my heel, that's four, two on my shoulder, so five, six. So add those up, and then in the middle here, I covered up the answer, write how many band-aids he had all over his body. Okay, and then you can color your band-aid brown or, or whatever color you'd like. So that's your first poem, and you can put this in your poetry folder when you're done. The second poem is called Smart. And um, this is a really cute poem as well. And as you go along, we want you to draw the money on the line, just so that you can get used to drawing that. And then at the bottom, we said, do you think he made a smart trade? Do you think he made smart trades? Let's find out. Let's read this together. My dad gave me one dollar bill because I'm his smartest son. And I swapped it for two shiny quarters, because two is more than one. So here we want you to write out in cents, what would a dollar look like, and in two quarters, how many cents would that be? And then I took the quarters and traded them to Lou for three dimes. I guess he don't know that three is more than two. Oh boy. So how much is three dimes worth? Write it on the line. Just then along came old blind Bates, and just because he can't see, he gave me four nickels for my three dimes, and four is more than three. Oh, man. So four nickels, how much would that equal? How many cents? And I took the nickels to Hiram Combs, down at the seed feed store, and the fool gave me five pennies for them, and five is more than four. So how many cents is five pennies? And then I went and showed my dad, and he got red in the cheeks, and closed his eyes and shook his head, too proud of me to speak. And this is also a poem by Shel Silverstein. And at the bottom, we want you to answer that question. Do you think that he made a smart that he made smart trades? Hmm. I'm not so sure. Right, you have to write yes or no on the line there. Next, the next thing on our list for today is writing. So you're going to take out your April journal again. This time, what we want you to write about is a time that you got hurt. Since we're talking about ow, we thought maybe it would be a good thing to write in your journal. You know how we're talking about the OU and OW? You don't have to use OU and OW words, but if you'd like to, you may. But we'd like for you to write about a time you got hurt. How did that make you feel? When did it happen? Were you little? Did it happen yesterday or today? Maybe you can tell us where it happened. And when we write in our journal, we always start every sentence with a capital letter. So make sure every sentence has a capital letter and every sentence needs an end mark. So we would like to see what you write in your journal. So make sure mom and dad take a picture of it and send it to us. And then Mrs. Boss will be coming on a separate video to talk about science. And our new topic for science is matter.